welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to make these really pretty snowflake ornaments out of clothespins. Stay tuned and I will show you how to do it. Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. So, Marianne Jackson had commented on one of my previous videos asking me if I had ever done clothespin snowflakes. I'm like, yes, I have, but I haven't made a video on them yet. So, here is the video. I got this pack of wooden clothes pins. And believe me, you want wooden ones if you're going to paint them. You can use plastic ones if you want to because they come in like a bunch of different colors. So if you don't want to paint them, plastic ones will work just fine. I got the wooden ones because I like them better. So they come 50 in a pack. You're going to need a pack of those. And you're also going to need some snowflake Christmas ornaments. Now, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Everybody carries these now. These particular ones came from Walmart. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. I will link in the description box below as to my favorite one and where I get it. You're also going to need some white spray paint and some extra fine glitter. This is Crystal Diamond. I got that from Walmart. So basically what we're going to be doing here is getting glitter all over us and still having dried up glue on our fingernails. But we're going to take our clothes pants and just pull them apart. Real simple, until you have a big old pile of them like this. Now, you're going to just take your hot glue here and just put a little bit down there and you're going to start gluing them together with the long sides together like that. Just line them up and then squish them down. You got a little bit of hot glue there, just wipe it away. So you're just going to basically just glue them all together like this in groups of two. Now, when it comes to making a hanger for these, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. You need some thin ribbon or whatever else you want to use for a hanger. I'm going to be using this really thin silver ribbon. If you're going to be painting these with acrylic paint, and y'all know that I don't use a lot of acrylic paint because I can't stand painting with it, then you can take your ribbon here and cut a piece and then make a loop and glue it down right here and then bring it down and glue that right there so that when you glue these two clothespins together, you have your hanger sandwiched in between them. Now, if you're like me and you use spray paint, you know, that may give you a problem because you may get paint on the ribbon. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue mine together and then paint them. And then I'll come back later and I'll just glue a piece of ribbon onto the back of one of these to use as a hanger. All right, so let's get this into place. Now, what I'm going to do is make a handful of these and then we'll come back and put them into the snowflake shape and paint them and put glitter on them and decorate them. Okay, so I have my clothespins all glued together, and I made six because what I want to do is, you see like this ornament here, it has these blank spaces. What I want to do is angle them so that they're going to be in between these empty spaces like this. So what I'm going to do is to start off, I'm just going to, let's see, all right, that one's fairly flat. I'm just going to take two and glue together just like that so that they are directly across from each other. I'm going to get glue on my paper here. That's all right. I don't care. I've got another roll. I need to switch this paper out anyway. All right. So that gives us a nice basis. So let me just hold this here and then we'll put these other clothespins here so that I can kind of see. Let me move this up so I can kind of see where they need to go. So I'm just going to put a blob of glue on this. Now I'm not gluing it down to the snowflake, okay? Because we still have to paint them. That looks okay, I think, right there. So let's just hold that into place for a second for that glue to set up. I think that'll look okay. All right, now let's... Oh, I need to move it over. Because then I won't have room for this and over here. All right, so now I'm going to put glue here. Just kind of fit it in there. That looks okay. I probably could have just eyeballed this, but I wanted to make sure that I have it in the right position. All right, let's just hold that. And that's going to take a while to set up. So then I'm just going to glue the other ones just like this. 
you can see so that those point out that way on the empty spaces of our snowflake. And then once I get those glued together, like I said, it's not glued down to that snowflake yet. I'm going to spray paint it with this white spray paint. And then while the paint is still wet, I want to sprinkle on some of this glitter. So let me do that. And then we shall come back and I'll put on a hanger and glue on the snowflake. Okay, so my paint has set up and dried and there it is in all of its sparkly glory. And now I have it all over my hands. <laughs> Anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue on our snowflake. And you know what? I know that somebody's probably going to ask, why are you not using white snowflakes? Well, you can use white snowflakes, but I wanted these to be, how can I say, like icy, give it like an icy look. And I found that these, these are basically just um, clear plastic that they put glitter on. And I think that looks really, really icy. So that's why I chose to use this. Another reason which is a good reason why I chose to use these is because I wanted to. All right, so now I just put a blob of glue there. See how I've glued it down in the center? Just put it there. And then y'all know I change things up all the time and add little doohickeys. Oh Lord, add little doohickeys here and there. So I got these little snowflake sticker thingies from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue that right in the center. But what I'm going to do is because these are stickers, take that little piece of paper off the back to uncover the sticky. We're going to glue it down anyway, but why are you doing that? Because sometimes, and this was a, a few years ago when I discovered this, is if you glue them down with the piece of paper on the back, sometimes if you bump it, then this will pop off and leave the piece of paper glued down to whatever your item is. So if you take that off, then you don't have to worry about it. All right, little snowflake. Let's see, I want you pointed that way. Ooh, how cute is that? All right, so now I'm going to take a loop of ribbon. Why have I not zoomed in? I don't know. I'm going to take a loop of ribbon and we're going to glue it to the back. I think the glue has set up here. All right, yeah, let's flip it over and put it on the back and then it'll be done. Um, ornaments like this and of course like the little uh, paper straw Christmas trees that I made. Uh, look through my my Christmas playlist and you'll see those. What me and my littles like to do is I take a Ziploc bag and then we make an ornament and put it in the bag. And then when we're at the park or, you know, out taking a hike or whatever, we like to leave those ornaments laying around with like a little note in it saying something like you're being thought about or you're loved or you're not alone. Something like that. Because this is a story that I had read online a long time ago. This guy, um, actually, I think it was on a news channel or something. I can't remember. But a guy had said that he was contemplating suicide and it was around the holidays and that's a sad time for a lot of people. And he thought, you know, that he was going to get in his truck and take like one last drive because nobody cared about him. Nobody loved him. And it was the holidays. And as he was driving around, one man passed him and waved at him. And he's like that one, that one little gesture stopped him from hurting himself that night. So I'm like, you know, if one person can find something like this, just out laying around, it might help somebody, you know, you never know. So I think I'll be making a handful of these and we'll put these in the bags along with the, um, hold on, let me show you these, along with these little paper straw trees. And you know, you stick a little note. We did it last year where I made uh, snowflakes, snowflake sleds, <laughs> popsicle stick sleds. And we left those laying around. Anyway, how pretty is that? So we're going to make these and lay them around. And if you see one, I hope it makes you feel better if you need it. And I also hope that you enjoyed this video. So if you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.